Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to continue the series of building out the uh, drill press table, the mini drill press table. And in this section, we're going to do uh, the table itself. So in the last episode, we built the base, which is right over there. And in this episode, we're going to build the, the actual table, sort of the meat and potatoes of this. So uh, before we do that, I kind of want to talk a little bit about it. It's going to be in three pieces. I've done this out of, just like with the base, three-quarter inch uh, melamine and so we have the top uh, so in short as I sort of discussed in, on the onset when we designed this out at Inkscape I've got the top here uh, where I've got the opening for the sander with, with, with a three millimeter um, recess so I can put a cover or an insert here uh, I've got it for the T-tracks slid in now one of the things with the T-tracks that I did was I didn't have it go through to the front because one of the things I wanted to maintain some of the integrity of this so they, they mount from the back so if I can show it here so it mounts in the back then the next piece is the middle section so the middle section because I'm going to have dust collection in this um, raises it up so in short what happens is this top piece sits on top of this piece like this and then there's the bottom piece which has four holes which will go in which will receive quarter 20 bolts which will go down into the and bolt to the actual drill press table itself and then I have my dust collection port over here and then notice I have indexing holes so long story short is um, this piece will sit on here and then this piece will sit on top of here and it all gets bolted together now the edges I'm not going to band I'm actually going to after I put this together the actual front I'm going to sand it and I'm going to epoxy it so it makes a nice tight seal and, and creates one unit it is rather thick um, I, I probably would have done like a half inch or five eighths inch board but it's not a huge difference and I have the material so uh, it does create a little bit of a profile but it's a nice gap in here that the sanding drum can drop into um, sort of like this I got my sanding drum here and you see it'll it, it'll be able to go in like this and then catch the dust. So, uh, nice little setup. Okay, so we watched that little time lapse of uh, me putting this together. And so, basically, what I did is, is I assembled the pieces, and then off camera, I actually sanded these edges of all three of them smooth, but then took the top back off because I needed to put these quarter 20 bolts. In in uh, inside, so um, pretty snug fit. So they're basically self-tapping into the the melamine itself, and uh, put some washers on it. We got the opening, and then what it'll do is it'll set on top of the drill press table like that, and then uh, I'll bolt it down and put some washers on it. But what we're going to do is now go back and uh, assemble the top piece and and start putting the rest of this together. So what I've done is I've decided to use some epoxy, mix it up, and use that to finish the edges to seal it. Then what I'll do is, I don't know, when it comes out, I'll see how it looks. I might paint it. I might just leave it natural. Uh, but this is really going to make the table solid. I do have it screwed together. I uh, hope you can't see the screws because I've taped it. I've put some masking tape or painter's tape on here to, you know, keep the melamine clean. Because, again, as I mentioned in the last portion as I sanded this down, and so I uh, want to kind of keep that nice finished look. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the epoxy and we'll come back and take a look. And we'll also mount the rails as we do the epoxy. Okay, so we're back. So we've uh, coated the epoxy. I'm letting it dry right now. Got it sitting on the bed. I bolted down the T-rails, so that's all good. Uh, T-tracks. Uh, so we'll let, let this set up, and we'll call it quits for this episode. And then the next episode, we'll come back, and we'll start hooking up the dust collector adapters and all that kind of stuff. We still have to 3D print and insert for here 
and then we also have to 3D print the mounting brackets for here. Now I've already got the uh, the, the back fence, so that's already cut out. So uh, the back fence will go on here, and so that's already set up. So I just need to print out the brackets and, and mount it. So, anyways, um, hopefully you found this build build interesting so far. Uh, stick around till the end. Again, uh, got the plans up on the internet if you want to build one yourself. Uh, so give it a thumbs up. Cheers, and we'll see you next video. Just click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.